Hello, fellow card waiters. Welcome to episode 25 of Let's Play Tale of Immortal. And uh, yeah, we are on our way, and we find our friend the Azure Steed again. So we are on our way to go to farm a new the, the old boss, you know. And this time we are, you know, the Steed actually again took us to some dangerous place, so called. But as you can see, it's quite easy actually. So the the reason why I want to farm a bit the the Koto is because you know you can drop Origin Spirit realm of books, manuals, you know LMB, right RMB, and some mind skills. That's why. Okay. Wow. <laughs> he get it gives us one of the breakthrough materials, so we only need to farm four times instead of five. Even though yeah, last episode we already get farmed array core and get five these books, so that we would know we need to defeat the. Uh, nine tails five times, but now only four times. So what I'm going to do now is to farm this guy. I mean, since this boss is the boss we need to defeat to get to Origin Spirit, which means it will be quite easy. So it takes, for now, we are at Origin Spirit, we took that one minute each time we farm it. And uh, so the thing what I try to get is some kind of consistent martial skill and special skill. So that I can either use the flower build or use a poison build, which I am tempted to go for a poison build. And yeah, obviously I'm going to reload and save, save and load because just to each time I farm this takes one minute. And uh, yeah, so again, as you can see, I'm money and I didn't even take any damage. So flying petal with poison throne and spirit leaf with flower spirit. Um, that is not what we want, actually. The thing I really want is probably a point and build of RMB skills, a special skill. So, of course, we're gonna reload again, I think. I mean... Hmm... I mean, this one is okay, but... Yeah, reload. So, another time, this time 57 seconds. And damage taken 10, and we got Blooming Bud, that's not great. And Blooming Bud, okay, no, no. Both are not good. I mean, as you can see, save and load and farming things, it is part of the game. And that's another reason why I don't do those no save run, no save and load runs, because it's just, that's not how the game is designed to be. This time, let's see. Spirit leaf, okay. Poisons and poisons plants. This is actually quite nice because I might actually just take this one. Yeah, I mean the move. These two move, maybe not, but I do like poison plants. So that might be what I'm going to build. Yes. So I chose this spirit leaf and the poisons plants, so I'm, and I'm going to learn the poison plants. And here I meet this master again. I can learn something from him. So I will learn the defense skill. So that I can get another not and so level of defense. And we could. So if we equip this thing now, we actually already adding a little bit defense, even without you know learning unlocking any sub skills. But I think I'm going to uh you know, upgrade this. The main thing is I need to go through the Everfrost and I need a bit more defense. So I'm going to continue learning. Meanwhile, this person, Hui Yan, says that yeah, my sworn sister is impressive and definitely worth knowing. I totally agree with you. And by the way, this person, she is also the sworn sister of my sworn sister, Feng Xi. So <laughs> she's just another sworn sister. So it is interesting. So we do agree with him. I do like my swan sister. And yeah. Okay, this friend, Kwang De, he wants to ask us for something. And yeah, I think we are going to help him. It's just foundation realm, right? And he came this long way <laughs> to Yimua region. So we are going to help him. 
I'm going to accelerate this because you know, it was very easy battles. So I do think that we might start helping this person, this friend as well, because we helped our master, the first master Ruchimo, who is enemy with him. I'm kind of afraid that my master is going trying to do something bad to him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, as a person in the middle, it's, I'm in a weird position. So, yeah, it's very easy to defeat those Foundation Real Men. Uh, so, yeah, we give this thing to him, and we don't really get anything, but as long as he's happy. So, I... Since I anyways need to upgrade some... Uh, skills, learn some skills and upgrade some skills. So I might think about just to, you know, make a camp at the Jade Blossom Shrine again and meanwhile I am learning skills and give, give gifting something to the Jade Blossom Shrine. And before I go, I will go into sell something. Yeah, this is the thing I got just now. Uh, we Let me keep this. Okay, so... We have, yeah, let me save this three, and I will take this two, because I don't need this two. So this few things I'm going to give it to the shrine, and learning that poisonous plant skill. And, okay, I'm also thinking of unearthing that Feng Shui Tiger as well, but maybe not now. So my master, first master, is he, she's already at chicanization. Yeah, well, you you are old. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. And you can see that she still hates my friend Kwang. And this friend, Jai Wen Le, and I mean, I'll do a small talk with him, so that we still consider him as friend. Otherwise, we will, might just lost him on the map. Okay, start the Jade Blossom camping. That's just part of the game experience. So I believe we need a bit more than 5,000 now. So 7,000, that should be good. Yeah. Do we need this? No, we don't need this. Or we can give this. And this is only 4,500. I don't think this is enough. Let me try. Yeah, this is not enough. So we need another 500 worthy things to fill the bar. So yeah, let me learn the poisonous plants. And here is funny thing. You can see that a little event with Smooching has randomly appeared. And uh, while we are playing song with her, our stamina has increased. Yeah, this is one of the few things you can get. I think I triggered this by using one of the items, interest items. And just as I was afraid, my master started attack my friend Guangde. Good thing is she spared his life. I mean, it's probably because my friend just, when he was defeated, he's telling my master that, yo, I mean, I have a friend who is your distant, disciple, please spare my life. And my master said, yeah, sure. You know, this thing can happen when you deal with MC as well. That's why it's important to have someone with high realm as your friend. And yeah, this is all the skills that I need to learn. That's quite a lot. <laughs> so it will take quite some time, I believe. I might actually show you guys this boring process because that is part of the gaming experience. So yeah, this time, second time, this one. Okay, more skill fruits. So. Wow, four people like me more, including my friend Kwangdu. Let's see. Well, surprisingly, nobody's coming to bother me. That's interesting. Oh no. Master. Oh well, that happens. Let me continue upgrading this. Yeah, as you can see, I'm upgrading this special skill with Poison Throne because I'm switching to a Poison build from the flower build. 
and I need to upgrade this as well. So, poison plants. One. I'm going to save and probably comprehend for my spiritual skill. So this one, yeah. If you remember, the reason why I have learned a spirit skill again is because previously we have need to forget our not and so spirit scripture skill in order to learn that blade one to do this RA course. And now my highest real skill, left LMB skill was a golden core one. That's why we need to farm it and learn this origin spirit level of LMB skill. Mm, oh, thank you. I mean, I don't need it, but it will be probably a good gift for the Jade Blossom Shrine. <laughs> so now we got a good LMB, and we were quite lucky in that comprehension, as you can see, just one time. And we got pretty good comprehension results. Uh, now we are going to upgrade our RMB. Yeah, my master just gave me this, so I'm going to give it to the... Ah, oh, come on! It needs 5,550. That's what it needs. Anyways, continue. One, two, three, four. The good thing is I have enough those uh, upgrading materials. Because I have been doing the sect quests and farming and stuff, so that materials I have a lot. Now, another month has passed. Origin spirit? No, no, no. Impossible. We just need a little bit. Mm, just need 50. Maybe they, maybe you. Yeah. Okay. Alright, continue. We actually do not have enough G1. I mean, we still have enough here, but if we want to learn more skills, we need to farm more. So I might stop learning, but start comprehending. I mean, I do want to learn this one as well. Yeah, the defense one, because I want more defense. The one we just learned from our master. Yeah, sorry for this part of this part of the game. It is kind of boring, but it is part of the game. And if you want surviving kills, you have to spend time to upgrade your skills and comprehend your skills. Second competition starting one year. Interesting. It has been this long. Now, oh, my friend Ethan wants to see, but since I thought he just went to that strange place and then vanished. Actually, if we go to this part, you know, the left bottom corner, one one, we could find our friend Ethan there. But I try not to do that. Anyway, so continue doing this. We are going to upgrade uh, our defense, defense. Yeah, here. Technique. Since this does not even cost G2 materials, which means we can't even go to that high, yeah. Okay, just another month. That's how cultivation is. Time just pass like that. Sometimes when you suddenly wake up from the cultivation, you might find your friend has already dead. I mean, I'm sure you have seen this kind of plot in many of the cultivation novels. But I think we are almost there. We are almost there. Just another month to learn this. Then we just need to comprehend and that's it. Because I would already have the LMB, RMB and the defense manual. And I think with this setup, we are be able to deal with the Nine Tails. Sure. 
la oh come on really we are a few less but that's okay we can just farm it so this materials should be quite easy to farm so okay we use this thing came to here and let's chat with him again as you can see he is again that flower okay we'll help him um this guy called the what do you want neither slab okay Hui Yin. Ah, yeah, she, she is my Swan sister's sister. <laughs> Somehow we are not Swan sisters. So, what I'm gonna do? I'm going to. Here. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. The reason I came here because I want to farm some comprehension materials. I'm not going to defeat the fight this guy. If I'm at Orange Spirit, it will be difficult to fight him. Instead, I'm going to fight some mobs just to farm some uh, materials for comprehension. So, the mobs in this region and in the other land, you can farm the comprehension materials for uh, Origin Spirit. And the mobs in Everfrost, you can farm the comprehension materials for nothing. So, I mean, it's the same thing as in every single. Reading, I think you already get the idea. And yeah, as you can see, I am using the poison plants. So those are those little mushrooms, you can see. And the mushrooms, they can attack. So their attack is basically they emit this red, you know, this red, uh, how, do you, how do you say it? Red gas? <laughs> it's kind of poison gas. And they will do damage to the enemy. So, and if the enemy was infected with poison throne, so basically the debuff, as you can see this guy have four, five stacks of debuff, then the attack of those mushrooms can detonate those debuff and deal more damage to the enemy. And those extra damage by detonating the debuff from the mushroom is actually much higher than the damage the mushroom attack themselves. Is that <laughs> understandable? <laughs> I mean, right now it's not clear, but once we comprehend it, it's more clear. So you can see here, it can detonation deals 887 damage. That's quite high. And uh, yeah, we will get this. I'm, I think, pretty happy with this. Okay, let's save this, and we will probably comprehend our defense man menu as well. Let's see. Um, defense. Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah, it looks pretty good. <laughs> I'm good. I'm okay with this. Yeah, I know there's one heaven ankle unlocked, but that's okay. Not a big deal. So, also by farming those things, we also managed to get two heaven, heaven aura. We can give them people this thing, and this is a great gift. Because it values a lot of spirit stone. For now, I'm going to save it. Oh. Jingwei. Actually, I'm going to give the Jingwei one. This Heaven Aura. And if I immediately bring her thing to five cards. As you said, as, as I said before, Jingwei is just like any NPC. The best gift is the one which values a lot of spirit stones. And those Heavenly Aura is one of the best gifts. Even though it's only purple, but it's better than many of the other you know, orange or red items. So we have 300 defense. My attack is slow because I didn't drink any power. Why? But I'm going to do that maybe next month, I assume. For now. Um, yeah. Chat. Because I need to spend some of my <laughs> stamina because I want to rest. So those stamina will be wasted if I don't spend it. This guy is interesting. He has a lot of appreciation. And okay, I'm going to take something as well. Or just to rest. So, next month. 
I will first try to do this. So this is will be the first nine tails we are going to try to deal with. And let's see how it goes. So we have switched from a flower view to a poison plant view. So I'm throwing three this little mushrooms. And each time my my LMB attack will put, you know, the poison throne debuff to the lion tails. And then the mushroom attack will detonate the debuff. As you can then if you pay attention to the little icon below the nine tails HP bar, you can see that it changes from time to time. You know, right now it's nine tail nine and then become eight, it's because the mushroom has detonated one and then it's you know. So basically I my attack puts debuff to the nine tails and the mushrooms attack detonate them and do a lot of damage to the nine tails. And one good thing to deal with nine tails with a wood or summon build is that your summons can block a, almost every single nine tails attack for you. And it can be really convenient. Look at all these little hearts. They are mostly blocked by my okay. I just said it and I got <laughs> hit by the hard one. And all these foxes they can also be blocked by those mushrooms. That's why using, I mean, it would be the same thing if I use a flower build. It's just I didn't have an origin spirit realm of flower LMB. Right? But I do get a poison one and I'm, also I want to switch to a poison build because I've been using flower build for like two real golden core and three canalizations. So I think it's time to switch to a poison one. And as you can see that the the damage is not bad at all. I'm pretty happy with the damage. All those mushrooms, they are doing pretty decent damage. And also, one thing about the mushroom is that after a few times they do damage, they will separate, you know, into two mushrooms. And uh, that is quite good. And also each time when the mushroom do damage or detonate the thing, it will can trigger the tiger dragon as well and yeah that's extra damage right so one strange if you can say it's kind of disadvantage of the mushroom build is that you want all the mushroom to to be in at together so that when they do damage all of them can deal damage to the same enemy for example in this case but when you throw the mushrooms when you use this thing you cannot control where it landed like right now, we are, I'm lucky all the three mushrooms are just under the nine tails. So they can all do damage to nine tails at the same time. But it's very common that some of your mushrooms are thrown too far away and they are not doing damage to the enemy. And in that case, you lost, you will lose a lot of DPS. For example, right now you can see quite a few. That one, that one mushroom is not doing any damage on the left. That one single mushroom, this one, is quite useless. The only thing is useful is probably blocking some attack for me. And it's not even doing that correctly. I still got attacked by the little foxes. But the good thing is I think the nine tails is almost done. And you can see that some of dealing with nine tails at this stage is actually quite simple and quite easy and quite safe. I mean, my HP is, are mostly quite healthy through the entire battle. So, wow. We got Makabe and four orange mind skill. That's good. So farming nine tails, it is an option. So second nine tail is around here, and I'm going to show the entire process again. <laughs> I know it would be almost the same thing, but I I will want to show all of it same time to see to show you that. It's actually quite reliable if you build your wood build properly. It has decent damage and it has it is very safe. And it's I don't it's not like I need to save and load because for all these nine tail battles I can tell you I finish it in one go. And you can sort of see it from the process as well, my HP bar is always very healthy. And I can stay behind the mushrooms, in this case or flowers if I'm using flower wood. So that I will, will not get hit by the nine tails attack. Almost any attack. And yeah, as you can see this time, there are like 
quite a few mushrooms which are very far away from the nanotails and they are not doing damage. So basically that entire army was wasted. And this time at least a few of them are close enough to her. They can do some damage. And your mushrooms can also be stunned by the Ninetales hearts, the heart attack. So, and the thing is, their duration time is not that long. So you want them to do perform enough attack during their duration time so that they can split more mushrooms so that they can do more damage. And that's why you really want your mushrooms to be together in a small place and they are not stunned. Actually, one sub skill, which is actually quite important for the mushroom, which I do not have in this, my skill, is the range, attack range of the mushrooms. Because the, the bigger attack range is, even though they, they can be scattered more around, but if they have a bigger range, they can still do damage, right? So, the common area where they can all do damage to the enemy will be bigger if they have a bigger range. So that is one thing, sub skill, which is actually quite good to have. Maybe not that obvious why it is useful, but it is quite good to have. And yeah, I do not have it. So, I mean, it's more like I do not want to comprehend save and load again too many times. It's just annoying. But if your mushrooms are all around the same place and they are all doing damage, detonating the poison debuff and doing extra damage, triggering Tiger Dragon debuff, it can be quite powerful. Because I... Rem Nine tails because it's, <laughs> it's an easy enemy and its attack is very easy pattern so you know its pattern very well. And you anyways have to farm it a lot of time, especially before before they, you know, adjusted this dropping rate. Right now, usually you only need to fight it five times to get gather all the orange materials. But previously it was a really giant pain to farm nine tails, and that makes me usually use nine tails as a kind of a testing target for a build around Origin Spirit, like like say you know mid game build if it's okay. And in general, I found wood build is quite nice against this thing, and I believe you can see that as well. So, second nine they have done. What do we drop here? Okay, only blah, blah, blah. Okay. And we got another Funkry Diver. That's good. The third nine tails around here. <sighs> yep, I know. Same content, third time. Da -da, da -da, da -da. And well, sometimes nine tails that you know lightning ball or like blue ball attack can be quite random. It looks like it's you know looking at different direction and suddenly you know, like look at this, look at this. Directed looking towards you. Sometimes, yeah. When you get hit and when it starts to... Like this. It deals 898 damage to me. And when it crit, it's quite a few thousand of damage. So when it crit, it can be directly kill half of my health. That's why, uh, you know, a shield guard is good. Many times I have a shield, it hits me and it just cancels. Cancels that shield. So each small fox does about 128 damage to me. Okay. And if you are not using a summon build, what's the best way to dodge the three, you know, hard attack from nine tails? You stand here, stand still, and it, when the nine tails, you know, summons this little heart, when you come towards it, you walk back a bit, and summons again. And you walk back kick. So basically you do not always keep running, but stand still, walk walk back, stand still, walk back, and then walk back. In this way, you sort of separate the three 
waves of heart in a bigger range, and then you've got a bigger area you can dodge the hearts. I mean, it's hard. It's a bit hard to explain it this way, but that's how you best easy the way to dodge three really hearts. But you can, anyways, dodge it in a better way. For example, using a summon build, or if you are not using summon build by yourself, you can always use a bamboo skill. If you are using the the Eye of Providence, just you simply use the bamboo skill. You know, use S, and it summons a lot of bamboos. It will block every single attack. Not only, usually, you summon this thing the moment you try to use the three waves of heart. It will block all the heart, because after the three waves of heart, it will summon all the little foxes. And all those bamboos will also block those foxes for you as well. And after the foxes, it will, only, it will shoot out those light, light balls, and then it will use one time the... Yeah, this one, one time. And you can use your motion skill to dodge this one time of hearts. Right, and then it will go to second round like this. It will summon this little thing, and then it will use the thing three times: one, two, three. If you manage to dodge this using a bamboo key skill or something, and block all these little foxes, that's why a bamboo key skill is probably the easiest way to deal with nine tails if you do not have summon. I mean, you can get the same thing with a, a gourd. Bamboo key as well, it's just not that accurate timing, of course, right? But I think it can do more or less the same. As we are saying this, we are almost done with Nine Tails. Yeah, so it always summons this foxes and then do three rounds of the cards. This is time when you need to use Bamboo key to block it. Nether Water, okay. I think we are almost there. We have four of those out of five now. And <laughs> well, I don't know, man. Like, mm, 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 mm. are you going to teach me this? Oh, he actually teach me this. The fifth skill, right? Because I'm using origin spirit, uh, uh spiritual skill. So he he will teach me the north and so on. Uh, okay. So I think the last two Ninetales are in the Everfrost, which means we have to go to the more dangerous area. It can be a bit dangerous if you are in Origin Spirit to go to Everfrost. Um, sure. Anyway, we have, yeah, Everfrost. Let's go there. This one, yeah. Oh, this one's closer. Maybe we'll go there. So it's about here. Okay, seven days, six days. Let's go. Ah! Oh, oh! Because I learned the skill from my master, that's why another month has passed. And what is this shit? Disagree. I don't care about your opinion of me. Hmm, north and so middle. Why not? I mean, at this point in middle game, if you have build a build properly, normal NPCs that is one realm higher than you can easily defeat them. Like, I'm Origin Spirit, and you can see that this Nars and Thor middle one, is, she's not... She's... You know, just not an enemy of me. Not worthy to be an opponent. Even for Heaven Chosen, once you reach Nars and Thor, you, you can probably defeat them, who are one realm higher than you, easily. Just depends on how much optimized your build is. And I'm not even talking about true damage build, this is just a normal one, as you can see. No true damage. Uh, fish. Sure. Huh. Okay. Uh, no. I just need to... Yeah, try to use this thing again. It's almost there. 
Oh, monster. Just here. What, another six days? Why am I so slow? Let's go. Ugh. I don't like encounter monster at Orient Spirit Ever Frost because those mobs can do serious damage to you. Good thing is I I do some damage to it them, which means my attack is high enough. Many of you, when you first time came to Ever Frost, you might do one damage to the enemy, which means you have not get enough attack, which is pretty common if you are not playing Chaos and you have you haven't ever comprehended or unlocked more sub skills from your mind skills. So many of them, if you are playing normal you might have not learned any mind skill at all at this stage then it, this is probably the first time when you realize why am i only doing one damage to the enemy so this is probably around the time when you really don't have enough attack if you have learned haven't learned any mind skill and those three allies together can be serious damage can be serious threat to you look 1500 damage was blocked by my shield but they can literally kill you pretty easily and I'm quite uh, 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 uh. oh god oh god no 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 stop it someone stop them oh, uh. oh. did you see that that's one single fucking crit 8,000 damage, I'm almost dead. These three elites are way more dangerous than Nine Tails to be. <laughs> Fuck man. That's why I'm telling you that this game is like, if you're doing, you can just doing very comfortably, nicely doing a thing and one second you didn't pay attention and Enemy one crit, you are dead. <laughs> it's not like all the three elites are so dangerous, right? Because if I want to use proper skills like ultimate, I can deal with them easily. Oh, by the way, have you guys realized I have, haven't used an ultimate at all dealing with all the four nine tails? I have been only using my LME and RMB and my I haven't used any ultimate because my ultimate is not even suitable for a poison build. I mean, for a poison build, I should use other, the dragon flower one instead of this flower queen. Because this flower queen can only be triggered when I'm using the flower build, first of all. So, so I can't even use it. And, yeah, so if I actually want to min max a bit more, make this build work a bit better, I should have you learned a poison dragon flower ultimate, and then I should summon that ASP because. That ultimate usually have the sub skills to increase the damage, the poison damage of every single summon. So it does improve your summon damage a lot. But just dealing with nine tails is I don't think it's necessary. <laughs> so you can see this nine tails does eight hundred ish, nine hundred damage to me, so that light bulb. And that three elites use one thousand eight hundred damage to me. That one single Axe attack and with crit it does 8000 damage to me. Anyway, so yeah. Oh god. Look at that one single or three or the four. Quite a few. Those three uh, mushrooms on the top didn't even get a chance to attack, they just disappear. And that's a problem that all do, all of those things, they didn't get a chance to attack, they're just wasted. So you really want all your mushrooms to be around the same place, or increase their range. Also, because my uh, very old Golden Core Sutra, so the HP manual, does still have the HP regen for me, based on how many uh, summons are there. So. My HP in general are quite healthy and even if I got hit, I have some small regen so I don't need to use pills. I mean, I don't like using pills. <laughs> so, yeah, some build is quite harmful. So, let's 
see let us one single round of this and then just shoot night balls at eight or nine times. Most of, the, of them hit my mushroom and it will summon little mushroom uh, foxes and it will use use three rounds one, two, three, three rounds of this and again a lot of light balls but that's okay. The thing is around this time if you are you know dodging first of all you if you are mm -hmm. focusing on dodging the three rounds of hearts and then you again have to dodge all the nine light balls and then all the little foxes will come to you. So that's the time when you feel like, oh god, how many times do I need to dodge for the nine hills? And this is why some kind of summon, doesn't matter if you use a Bambuki or you use a summon build, or use something else, it's quite useful in this. I mean, you can probably just summon using uh, the horn which summons a lot of peaks. You know, put it in a safe place, and then all those peaks can actually help you dealing with nine hills as well. So I believe this will be the last nine tail battle in this episode because we should have enough. Let's hope. Yes. Water of purification. So yeah, we got all the five. Great. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five. And that fire thing coming from our steed friend. So the only thing left is this mountain specter. And we are going to deal with it now. Well, we still have some tavern buff, but <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I first have to deal with this martial man, and you can see that two past two and a half minutes. This is a north and so level of martial man. I mean, I mean, we need more martial man. That's what I need. <laughs> and now to deal with this guy, nineteen days. Oh God, we need to get another month. I don't like this. We only have one month left. <laughs> Maybe I'll just do something else and then you drink some tavern thing again. Mm, yeah, let me use this from that mushroom man. I want to save this guy. Save all five of this. And okay, I should have sold those things. One, two, three, four. Four. <laughs> and uh, sell some interest item. One, two, three. Okay. Hum. Mm -mm -mm. I might unlearn this. Yeah. I might keep this because this bone fracture can be used for later on, especially being combined with. Wait, I haven't. Yeah, I've unlearned this. Especially, <laughs> unlearned this one as well. Unlearned this one as well since it's golden core. Unlearned this one. Yeah, I realized I haven't really unlearned all those old skills, and there's no point of leaving them anyway. Golden core, no use. Golden core, no use. Yeah, I don't need you. <laughs> I'm going to sell some materials as well. Those little lower realm ones. So, I stupidly sold those comprehension sands for golden core level and I haven't comprehend this <laughs> I realized I haven't comprehend this golden core realm of skills and I sold all the comprehension sands for golden core it's very stupid of me that's why I have to buy those ones from the sect that's good thing that I can buy it from this problem brand the reason is I actually want to, I forgot to comprehend this, but it's actually quite useful to comprehend the motion skill, especially against Mountain Spectre, because I want to run faster. Mm, yeah. That ah, looks fine, looks fine. Anyways, time is up, so I will see you in the next episode, dealing with Mountain Spectre.